Hey guys, Professor Fat Shady from the University of Trials, and I'm here today to do a detailed tutorial on Eye of the Storm. Uh, it's the first track in Master's Gauntlet uh, from the base game, and some of you who've been watching my channel for a little while probably realize that I did this video, or at least part of uh, this track in a tutorial, about 12 months ago. Um, but I've just been watching Twitch, uh, a guy called Photo Fusion, that's uh, Photo underscore Fusion on t uh, Twitter, uh, was struggling, timed out on this track after a 300 odd faults and uh, 30 minutes. Um, I don't know if he even realized it, but he did get to the last obstacle in the game at the last checkpoint and timed out. So I kind of felt for him. He's also from uh, New South Wales, which is where I'm from. So I figured I'd make this video. So Photo Fusion, just for you. Uh, Pit Viper, which you already figured out, which is cool. Um, now, one of the problems I've got is that I came into the stream late and didn't see the, a large portion of his playthrough. So I'm just going to give a tutorial for everything and hopefully Photo Fusion, some of this makes sense. Uh, first thing here, I mean there's a couple of ways to do this obstacle. Um, I suspect you're going to be able to land here and kind of do a bunny hop up and over. Alright, if I'm going to teach you consistency, that's what I'm going to go for. So throttle control, now bear in mind the triggers are uh, analog so use as much uh, you know sensitivity and uh, control as you can to sort of balance yourself. Um, I actually think Actually, that's probably even easier. Land here, steady yourself down, let go of the left analog stick and accelerate at 100%. Your front wheel will just lift up and pop you up and over. This one here, uh, do a bunny hop. If you haven't uh, figured out the bunny hop, there's a link, link in the comments, so uh, make sure you check out the bunny hop tutorial. But just a bunny hop to clear this gap, and I'll get you down to the next uh, checkpoint. Uh, like I said, I can do this a lot faster, but I'm trying to show you the way to do this consistently. Next one, same thing again. Lean forward, throttle control, and balance yourself here. Now this is a much smaller slope, so you'll have to be a bit more precise. You should be able to just ease on up there, but the key thing is... Ah, I hit it down. Um, the key thing is, on that little upward slope, if you just ride up that steep hill and try and accelerate, you'll be going too vertically, and you'll fall in the gap. You need to make sure you catch your back wheel on the upper uh, flat or downward sloping piece of that big rock, and that'll give you the uh, forward momentum to get over to this gap. Another big bunny hop here, um, again, I think, I think if you just bunny hop, yep, you should be able to make that gap, and again, bunny hop, key thing is, in the air, on that side, and you, by the way, you can, you can sort of bounce up and over, the key thing is, as you're in the air here, land the rear wheel first, and, and you sort of got to get your body weight into the right position, uh, as you're in the air and you want to anticipate where you want to land and you want to be With your rear wheel hitting slightly first and uh, again throttle control and that should get you up and over to this checkpoint Again, so I'll, I'll, at the end of this I'll go through and do this one quickly But um, all I want you to do for this one is use throttle control here accelerate and that'll get you up and over Get onto this platform and there's a trick with this one. What you want to do here is accelerate at about, I want to say 80, 90, no, actually probably even 100%. Let me, let me have a look at this. Ah, uh, okay, and what you want to do, you want to stay seated, right? Your tendency is normally on an uphill slope, what you'll want to do is lean forward, okay? The whole reason why that doesn't work is because your front wheel gets hits on this rock and you'll struggle. What I tend to do, and the way I sort of teach people how to do this one, is to stay seated. Accelerate at 100%, and as you're most of the way up, probably, actually probably half of the way up the ramp, I will actually suggest that you press uh, left on that, so push further backwards. Counterintuitive, but what you're trying to do is get your front wheel up and out of the way of the rocks, and then you press it forward at the right time, and that should get you over the ledge. So, seated position, press back, and then forward, and it should pop you straight over like that. This one here, nice little run up, bunny hop, checkpoint. Gravity does all the work there. This one you need to be really good at the bunny hop. So again, check out that link in the, in the uh, comments and you'll see how to get the best height. Keep your rear wheel out of the way because there's a bomb. Obviously if you, if you hit it, that happens. Again, steady yourself before you try and proceed. Here, you want to bunny hop and then land with your rear wheel on that platform and just really feather the throttle. So again, steady yourself down. Bunny hop. Fail, no problem. Uh, try it one more time. Steady yourself down. And just, just back and forward, and then just lean forward to get yourself up and over to this checkpoint. Again, bunny hop here. 
And there's a few ways that you can just sort of bounce off that one. But, I think there is even a slower version of it. Yeah. So either of those options will work just as good. This one, I think there's a trick with this one too. Yeah, I think there is. Okay, so what you want to do here, you need to bunny hop off the first ledge, but then st be seated when you hit the, uh, so forward, back, and forward again. You want to be seated, so that, forward, back, forward, back. So, forward, back, forward, back. Um, it, I think it's possible to do this one with that throttle control trick. Yeah, it is. Um, so, whichever one's your preference. I prefer the two consecutive, but if that's a little too advanced, and you're able to sort of with throttle control hold yourself here, you can, but I would argue this is harder. If I'm honest. So what are you going to do? Forward, back. Forward, back. Now, photo fusion. This is the checkpoint that I came in at. So we're six minutes in so far, so plenty of time. Um, what I was suggesting you do in the video before you timed out, treat this as multiple different parts. The first part is to get up on here. Key being, you want to get a good run up. So use, make sure your rear wheels toward the back of this platform. But you want to do a really solid bunny hop, and you want to land on that back wheel, right? So let me show you. You want to go here, you want to go up, and you want to try and hop in one sort of fluid motion and get yourself onto this one. Now you can stop here if you want, or you can power on through. Whatever, yeah, whatever seems to work. So first section up, and all I do, I just lift the front wheel up, flip forward, and just lean to get up there. So you don't have to do a big bunny hop, just your forward momentum will get you up and over. From a seated position, big bunny hop, and you want to keep pressing backwards to counteract. So what will happen normally when you get up here? Your front, you'll either flip too far backwards, or you'll sort of uh, go too far forward. So you kind of need to just get the timing and the balance right uh, to get yourself up and over. But I've always suggested you just focus on the angle and a little flick there to try and get yourself up and over. I'll do that a few more times because this is the, this is the part you were struggling on. Big bunny hop, and up again. So you don't even actually, you don't even have to bounce solely on the rear wheel. But what you want to make sure, and I think this is one of the things you were getting caught with, you're getting your rear wheel caught on this. You're doing like that. And what that suggests is you're not getting enough height off your bunny hop. So go back and practice the bunny hop. Get enough clearance. And then it should be bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop, and throttle control. And then you're up and over to the finish line. So that's, I mean, that's literally how close you were to this. Uh, so let's do it again. Bunny hop, bunny hop. And just right over half of these things. The key thing here is throttle control. Get yourself a little bit backwards. Uh, as I've said with some of the other techniques, you don't have to do a big fancy bunny hop here. Um, all you really need to do is just get your... Let me do it again. Um, you need to throttle control, and just as you get toward the top, just let go of the left analog stick a little bit. It'll lift your front wheel up, and then just uh, lean forward, and you'll get up and over. So, photo fusion. I'm, I'm hoping that was enough of a tutorial to help you get through it with a little bit better than 300 faults. Um, yeah, let me let me know in the comments if it did actually give you any uh, assistance. But now I'll just sort of have a quick blast through this. I haven't played this one for a little while, and I'll just give you an idea of what's possible. Oh, rookie mistake. All right, I'll do one one semi quick one, and then we'll call it quits. And this is this is probably the track that I enjoy. Call it speed running, but I'm slow compared to everyone else. Um, but this is probably the track I enjoy speed running the most, just because it's a it's an easy extreme. And sorry if that uh, isn't a nice thing to say, Photo Fusion, <laughs> when you're struggling with it. But in the grand scheme of things, it is a a relatively easy one. That was horrible.
don't know if you've seen this, by the way, Photofusion. But if you haven't... It's, um... Well, if, if you're struggling with the base game, uh, this is, I would argue, your worst nightmare. It's effectively the same track, but on drugs. Everything is just amped up. So now I've started this. Nah, actually I can't. Can I? This is where Twitch would be so much better for me. Ninja level recovery, alright. I've got to leave this in the video now because this is fun. Just check that I was actually recording because it was a pretty cool recovery. And that's how you know it's cool when you say it. No! 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 I bet you this is easier oh, in one, um, in two sections. Let me try. This? Oops. Forgot about that. Oh, I hate this one. This one always gives me grief, by the way. So as you can see, Photofusion, it goes from being a tutorial to, uh, me struggling a little bit, but that's alright. You son of a... This is the worst checkpoint just because it's so long. So Photofusion, this is the pain that I go through for you. Did this stop being, stop being for you a long time ago? Hopefully my tutorial helped though. You... Ooh. 26 is my, by far my best. I think my best before that's like 60 or 70. Anyway, thank you for watching the video. Photofusion, I hope the first part of the video helped. Uh, for anyone else, I hope the second part of the video was just interesting to watch. I think you've seen me play that before. But I kind of had to do it to show Photofusion what it was all about. Thanks so much, and uh, I'll keep making more. Cheers.